LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks, uh, listen, boy, I woke up out of a deep sleep to drop this video, and that's just the way that is. So Shakur Stevenson, he signs with top rank. Good, good, good. <laughs> I'm glad Floyd Mayweather didn't get him. I'm glad. Tell you why. You see, people, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. See, when it comes to Floyd Mayweather, what happens is, you know, what this guy will do, man. Uh, well, first, let's talk about why Floyd didn't get this guy. Let's talk about that. You see, sometimes it's good for Floyd to actually shut up. Sometimes it's good for Floyd Mayweather to shut up sometimes. Because, you know, Floyd talk too much. He do. Floyd talk too much, and that's just the way that is. You see... Andre Ward got a chance to really uh, meet Shakur Stevenson in the Olympics, just like Floyd did. But see, the thing of it is, man, Andre Ward probably made more of an impression on Shakur Stevenson than Floyd Mayweather did. And I'm sure Shakur Stevenson's parents, I'm pretty sure his parents or mentors, they probably told him, they probably said, listen, Floyd Mayweather's a bad idea. Andre Ward probably told him, look, man, this guy's a mark. And you know Andre Ward from the hood, so... You know, man, Andre Ward a smile big and all this, but look, man, that guy still got, he still got a little bit of hood mentality in him. He do, okay? And he probably told Paul Shakur to the side and said, look, man, Floyd Mayweather is a mark. Floyd is a B. Floyd going to do this. Sure he did. See, because Andre Ward used to support Floyd Mayweather. Well, he ain't support him, but he used to speak very highly of him. You know, talk good about him. You know, uh, and Floyd Mayweather used to talk good of Virgil Hunter, and then all of a sudden, Andre Ward wins the biggest fight of his career, and it's like Floyd really just took to just bashing both of them on social media. He did a fight hate interview bashing these guys. And so Andre Ward, he probably, I'm telling you, man, he said, told Shakur, Floyd is bad business. Don't do business with Floyd. I mean, how else can you explain this, man? And, of course, what is Shakur Stevenson going to do? He's going to listen to his manager. And Andre Ward probably got on the phone with Shakur's parents. Look, uh... Yeah, uh, Floyd's a bad idea. Uh, we, uh, you know, we definitely need to move forward. Uh, and, uh, I think Floyd will just take something and, you know, just destroy this boy. See, something along those lines where he probably told Shakur's parents. Shakur's parents started talking to him, and look, man, they ain't want no parts of Floyd Mayweather. They ain't want him having nothing to do with this kid. For real. And I think it's a good move that he's with Andre Ward. Now, uh, you know, the top rank move, I don't know. They probably gave this dude some good money. They probably had to, man. Uh, because, you know, we all know about Bob Arum and how he cheat these folks. I mean, we, we guys, listen. Bob Arum is a snake. But this is Floyd Mayweather's own fault. It's his fault. See, you know, sometimes you got to learn how to shut up and stop, you know, thinking that just because you got all this money that you can just say whatever you want. Because sometimes these things cost you in the future. See, let me tell you something. Andre Ward just uh, rescued Secure Stevenson, okay, from being pregnant by some bimbo that come in the gym. Probably did. You got all these money team girls all around him, man. And, you know, this boy ain't going to be able to uh, concentrate, been and, 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 you know, got knocked out. That's probably what happened. So Andre Ward saved this guy from the, the circus of the money team female, saved him from getting some girl pregnant because, you know, they're coming after him, okay? Saved this guy, you know, from getting into a lot of drama beefs like, you know, Floyd liked to do, okay? And could you imagine he buys Shakur Stevens in a car and then, you know, he throw it back up in Shakur's face because that's the kind of dude Floyd is, man. I know a couple of guys that used to go to that gym, man. I know a few guys that used to go to the gym and work out there, man. And they don't work out there no more, man. Because they, they say Floyd is a mark, man. They straight up say Floyd is that kind of dude. Floyd is a B. And PG-13 channel. Floyd is a, a B-A-N. <laughs> and y'all know what that stands for. But that, that's what they say about Floyd. Okay? That's what they say about Floyd. Um, and then, too, man, you know, if he give you something, he think he own you. Really, he think he own you. If he give you something, oh, that's it. He own you. See, that's why I said, you know, if I was a fighter under the Mayweather promotion banner, I would tell him straight up, listen, man, don't give me nothing, okay? Give me what we agreed on on my contract. That's it, okay? Don't give me no cars, okay? Don't come up to me 
bring in the newest money team hoe up to me introduce me don't do none of that okay don't um give me any extra handouts listen i'm working for what i want that's how you got to come at floyd mayweather you know what I, don't, don't give me nothing i don't want nothing from you I, I don't i don't want you doing nothing i don't want you going talking on my behalf and that's another thing you know what um uh, uh, shakur stevenson will be trying to have an interview and you have floyd mayweather in the interview okay taking over where well, you're supposed to be drawing your star power it won't be you it won't be you getting your star power it, it, it'll be floyd mayweather still keeping his name relevant uh no thank you no thank you i couldn't do it man i don't know how these guys do it and some of these dudes that hang around floyd could they kiss his butt like jay leon love jay leon love you think that nose could get any bigger he kissing floyd butt so much and leonard ellaby god bless him man that guy kissed Floyd, but that's Floyd Dubois. Floyd talked junk about him. Floyd was threatening to fire him. Hey, could you guys believe that? Leonard was the one with Floyd since everything started, man. Leonard Ellaby used to work with Floyd for free, okay? Leonard gave up a, a job paying six figures a year to come work with Floyd and help Floyd in, in a lot of ways. And Floyd, you know, y'all remember when Floyd was talking about firing Leonard Ellaby? Over some seats, man. Over some seats that his kids didn't get because his kids couldn't sit beside the baby mama. I mean, man, come on. Are you serious? So you're going to fire your long-term friend over something like that or you are threatening to. I definitely wouldn't do business with Floyd Mayweather. I, I wouldn't even take him seriously. I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, nope. I'd go somewhere else. Or, oh, you know what? I, I'd have been like Shakur Promotions. I got a name behind myself, you know. I got an Olympic medal. I, I don't need Floyd Mayweather. That's probably what I would have told myself, man. Because, uh, you know, being in that gym, man, you constantly, everybody trying to prove themselves to Floyd. Everybody, you know, doing dumb stuff to get Floyd attention. I mean, look at Adrian Broner. He ain't even in that gym, and he still do dumb stuff to get the approval of Floyd Mayweather, man. Nah, man. Nope. Nope, thank you. Uh, you know, he was good to avoid this gym. Probably it was good because now he ain't going to be a young father anywhere. Well, I don't know if he got kids or not, but. He probably ain't going to have one of them uh, girls uh, trapping him. And then, you know, when he started getting his money, then now he already trapped, you know, before the dude even get 21. That's just what I think. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. And with Andre Ward looking out of him, maybe Bob Aram won't get the dude. Maybe Bob won't cheat this guy too much. I'm done. Subscribe.